Hello and welcome to my gun guide of the MK14 EBR. The MK14 EBR has a low fire rate and high damage. It has the highest maximum damage in its category, but as a downside, it doesn't have any damage multiplier to the neck. This makes the MK14 a good choice for shooting through objects, especially when using armor piercing rounds, and it will also easily dispatch enemies who might already be injured slightly. One drawback is its very low magazine size at 18, which may increase the need for extended mags or sleight of hand. The MK14 EBR has a very high range, beaten only by the SVU. As such, it benefits greatly from both the muzzle brake and silencer attachments. It will attain a greater increase to its two-shot kill range than other weapons in its class, while the reduced range when using a silencer is not as severe. The MK14 EBR's damage allows it to efficiently one-shot headshot an enemy before and during the damage drop-off making it a preferred weapon amongst most sharpshooters. The MK14 EBR comes with an advanced sniper scope making it easy to pick off targets at a distance. Selecting the muzzle brake as one of your attachments will enhance your two hit kill distance to the maximum possible. Pair this with armor piercing rounds for maximum punch per trigger pull, you'll be better able to slice through thin cover and you'll deal more damage to killstreaks too. For your perks, Focus is a must-have with the MK14 EBR, as landing shots on targets near or far is heavily dependent on the steadiest sights possible. Scavenger is also a must-have since you resupply ammo from dead players. Using sleight of hand is also beneficial as it decreases the reload time from 2.9 seconds to 1.8 seconds. If you don't feel comfortable with the integrated scope, you can go for the thermal option which shows enemies in white. The last perk we need is Hardline which makes kill streaks require one less kill or every two assists count towards a kill. If you don't like the idea of using any scopes at all, go for the red dot, holographic or ACOG scopes. When using any of these attachments, make sure you equip burst fire. This turns the MK14 EBR into a free round burst. When using this setup, make sure you're using scavenger, sleight of hand, amplify and hardline. For your secondary, you will want to use the .44 Magnum with an ACOG scope. For your lethal, you will want to be using a grenade and for your tactical, a concussion grenade. Perks, sleight of hand, scavenger, focus if you're using a sniper scope, hardline. If you're not using a sniper scope and you're going for the three round burst, choose amplify as you will hear enemy footsteps louder. Strike package, trinity rocket, Battle Hine and Heli Pilot. If you use this setup, you'll be tearing through the enemies.